Hey guys, welcome back in the kitchen. It is zucchini palooza, canning, harvesting, nonstop. But I need to come up with a thousand different ways to preserve all this zucchini that I have. So if you guys caught last video, I made zucchini turkey meatballs, zucchini turkey meatloaf, for the freezer for quick and easy meals. Today's recipe is gonna be so yummy. I've never made it before. Actually, I don't think, maybe once in my life I've made these before. I'm going to make zucchini cheddar and chive scones and maybe a zucchini cheddar like savory um, quick bread. And that's what we're doing today, but first I gotta head out to the orchard and harvest some chives. Okay, before we head over to the orchard, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the amazing success I'm having this year growing zucchini. Last year I did not have good success at all. I had a few small plants. They didn't really produce any fruit. And so this year I'm gonna show you the garden and all of the crazy zucchini plants I have going on. I'm growing these uh, morning glories this year and they're not climbing where I tell them to. So you guys know that I love, love, love Ruth Stout gardening. I get in trouble for some of you for using hay and whatnot, but guys, I love it. it I hardly have to water at all and a lot of the plants, not everything, but a lot of the plants thrive in this environment. Behind me is probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven zucchini plants in this roof stout bed. I have, okay, hold on. I'll show you the raised bed garden ones. They're doing great too. I have two right here in this raised bed and I have yellow crookneck squash in the back corner back there that have um, three zucchini plants and that's in Ruth Stout as well. The zucchini are booming. I can't, not I can't, they won't stop growing. So if you haven't tried Ruth Stout gardening, I can't recommend it enough for a lot of crops. Potatoes, cucumbers, zucchini, even my tomatoes love it. My, um, cabbage love it this year. The cucumbers are crazy loving it. So let's head over to the orchard and get those chives. Crazy goat. What are you doing? Huh? Taking a sun bath? That should do it. Nice little bundle. Okay, when I was researching what to do with all this zucchini, I am a huge Pinterest lover. So I just went to Pinterest and typed in zucchini recipes and got totally inspired. Um, so these are, the title of the recipe is called Zucchini Cheddar Scones by um, a gal named Ashley Baker by Nature. So I'm going to, it says it makes eight scones and only uses Two thirds cup of zucchini, so I'm just going to go ahead and double it. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was still recording. I don't have sour cream, so it called the recipe calls for sour cream. I have some milk, dry milk here, and it says I can make my own sour cream using milk water and some lemon juice. So that's what I'm gonna do first, real quick. So excuse my messy counter, there's a whole lot going on. 
this weekend with preserving, canning, putting up food. But I'm going to show you guys what I found with respect to making your own sour cream. I have two thirds cup of dry milk in here, um, three fourths cup of water, and it said to add a teaspoon of lemon juice. And now we're going to mix that up and I suppose we will end up with some sour cream. Okay, I'm going to let this sit while I get the other ingredients prepped to thicken. I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. Uh, one of the tips, if you haven't already grated your zucchini, go ahead and grate it. Throw a little sprinkle of salt on it. It's going to draw out the moisture from your zucchini and then you can drain it in a um, colander and then really wring it out. You definitely don't want wet zucchini in this recipe or your scones will be soggy. So I'm gonna go find a measuring cup. We'll get measuring our ingredients. I'm not gonna call them all out. I'll just go ahead and leave the link to the recipe in the description below. Um, I am doubling this recipe. So. Reminder, Rachel, get on Amazon, order more baking powder. You're almost out. No, you're not. Look what I found in the pantry. Thank goodness. This is powder, yeah. Thank goodness for reserves. Buying in bulk has saved me so many times. Like having this dry milk on hand. Okay, um, sugar. Bring you guys down. I got a cup of cut butter in here and I'm just going to work that in with my fingers. If you have like a pastry blender you could use that too. I just don't have one so we'll just work it in until it gets like cornmeal-y texture. I have gone ahead and mixed, so the butter's cut into the flour. I've mixed two eggs into the sour cream milk mixture. And I'm going to grate one and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese. The zucchini has been dried after it drained. And then we should be ready to roll out and prep. This, I got the chives in there, the liquid, the cheese. We're gonna mix this all together and then fold in the zucchini. Okay, let's add our zucchini. I've got it wrung out in the towel. I'll mix this in and then I've got to clean up my mess so I have space to work to roll this out. Okay, we're gonna call that good. Let me take a minute guys and clean up my mess and then I'll bring you back and we'll get them all cut up, rolled out, cut up, and cooking. And hopefully this is inspiring you guys to research all the wonderful things you can make with your zucchini harvest. Okay, my work area is finally cleaned up. I'm going to just lightly flour my work surface. To work in a bit more flour. It's uh, a little wet. I'm just going to work myself around and cut it up and get it on a baking pan.
Okay, they're in the oven and I just need to cook them for 22 minutes. All right, the timer just went off. Let's pull these scones out of the oven. Sure smell good. Okay guys, that is it for today for processing zucchini in a different way for food storage. I am going to uh, let these cool. I will package them up and put them in the freezer. I think one's gonna go in my belly right now though because they smell amazing. So let me know any amazing recipes you guys have for zucchini down in the comments below and maybe just I'll make it. Talk to you guys later.